Okay, we're going to do lesson 12-6, line plots and lengths. Okay, so what we're dealing with here is basically a number line. Okay, and let's say we have 0, 1, and 2, right? And let's say we're going to divide into fourths. So if we're going to divide this section into fours, four sections, we're going to draw three lines. Right? And this is going to be one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. And again, in between one and two, we want four sections, so we will draw three lines. So this is four fourths, which four divided by four is one. So that's right. This is five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths, and eight fourths. Right? All sounds well and great so far. So what we're doing is called line plots. So let's say I measured five uh, pencils. I measured five pencils. And the first pencil was five-fourths of an inch long. So I'm going to make a dot. This is one pencil. And then the second pencil I measured was exactly one inch. So I'm going to put it here. And the third pencil that I measured was the exact same size. It was also one inch. The fourth pencil was super small was three-fourths of an inch and the fifth one was also four-fourths of an inch okay so I can see by looking here that I have measured one two three four five different pencils each dot is a pencil length okay so each one of these so three of the pencils were exactly one inch one of the pencils was three-fourths of an inch and one of the pencils was five-fourths of an inch Okay, so this is just a way of looking at it. I can look at it and go, what was the most popular length of pencils? And we can easily say that that was one inch because we have three of them there, okay? So let's take a look here. So the data is the information you collect. Up here, these dots, those are our data. We always want to remember, take our 10 seconds and look at our graph. Soccer goals scored in games down here these numbers down here represent the number of soccer goals scored okay so to read a line plot count the dots above each number on the number line in this line plot the numbers below the number line these ones down here show the number of soccer goals scored each dot stands for one soccer game so i can tell you by looking at this that in two soccer games there was only one goal scored in three soccer games, there were two goals scored. In one, two, three, four, five, in five soccer games, they scored three goals, okay? So players scored, scored three goals in how many soccer games? So here's where they scored three goals, and that happened one, two, three, four, five, five times in five soccer games. So... Here's a little trickier question. Players scored how many goals in one soccer game? Well, where over here do you only have one dot? That means that only happened in one soccer game. Did you find it? Should be right there. There's only one soccer game. So players scored seven goals in one soccer game, which makes sense. That's, that's a lot of, of goals. Okay, let's look at number two. The distance between each whole number on a ruler is one inch. The markers on this ruler show four fourth inch marks. Okay, so that makes sense. This is our one inch mark, our two inch mark, and our three inch mark. And in between zero and one, we have one, two, three, four, four sections, which of course means three lines. We got one fourth, two fourth, three fourths, and then whole number one is four fourths. And then in between one and two, we have one, two, three, four sections, which means three lines, right? So we have five, four, six, four, seven fourths, eight fourths. That's whole number two. This is exactly what we did the other day. And then we have between two and three, again, four sections. Notice our denominator is the same all the way through, okay? so. 
to the nearest fourth inch, which means any one of these lines, because these are all to a fourth of an inch, the length of the rectangle is 11 fourths. So we've measured this rectangle, and it does, it ends right here, which is 11 fourths. So if we're looking at 11 fourths, we know that is our fraction, 11 fourths. Now, we're asking ourselves, it's fine that it's 11 fourths, but we know that's an improper fraction, right? The, the four can't hold that. So how many whole inches is that? Here it is right here, okay? We have, it's one inch, it's two whole inches, right? two whole inches and then it's kind of like telling time like you get to the hour and then these are the extra minutes afterwards right so it's two whole inches and then we have one two three fourths three fourths three one fourth inches afterwards so three fourths inches so we can write that as two and three fourths okay I know that's a little tricky. You don't have to master that in third grade. We're just trying to kind of introduce to you that 11 fourths is two whole inches and three fourths, okay? The length of several rectangles were measured and recorded in the plot. So here's length of rectangles, their length in inches. So we have two rectangles that were two inches. We have four rectangles that are two and one fourth inches. We have one, two, three, four, five rectangles that were two and two fourth inches and one rectangle that's two and three fourths inches. Which length did most of the rectangles measure? So which one of these lengths has the most dots? Write it down right there. Okay, it should be this one, right? two and two fourths inches. This one right here, because it has one, two, three, four, five rectangles listed above it. How many rectangles are measured in all? Well, you need to count all of the dots. So count all the dots and write that down. Pause it and come back. Okay, you should have gotten 12 rectangles in all. Five, six, 10, 12. A student has three stamps that are one, fourth, one and one fourth inches long, five stamps that are one and two fourths inches long, and two stamps that are one and three fourths inches long. So let's make sure we understand this. One and one fourth inches, we have three of those stamps. One and two fourths inches, we have five of those stamps. And one and three fourths inches, we have two of those stamps. We wanna make a line plot, okay? So go to the back and let's draw our line here. Okay, now we are plotting one and one fourth, two and one fourth, one and three fourths. There's no reason to put zero on our number line. So we can do a one and a two. And the denominator in all of these is fourths, fourths, and fourths. So I'm gonna divide that section into fourths, which means I draw how many lines? Three. Right? So this is going to be, if this is one whole, this is going to be one and one fourth, one and two fourths, one and three fourths, and then whole number two. Okay, just like between zero and one, you do one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, two, uh, four fourths. We're now kind of like when you're, when you're a baby and you count by the number of months and you say, oh, the baby's, you know, six months old. And then once they reach a year, you might say, oh, they're a year and two months. Oh, they're two years and two months. We don't keep going, they're 26 months, they're 28 months, they're you know 95 months. We, we start counting in years and then say they've gotten to this year and then we add the number of months that they've progressed towards the next year, okay? So let's look at our line plots here that we have, okay? We have three stamps that are one and one fourth inches. So here's one and one fourth, we have three stamps. Okay, 
Then you have five stamps that are one and two fourths inches. So I want you to, to plot those and your two stamps that are one and three fourths. So pause it, plot those, and then come back. Okay, so one and two fourths, you should have five. I didn't leave myself enough room on this paper. And one and three fourths is two. Okay, so you should have three, five, and two. Hopefully your five goes up a little bit higher than mine because you left yourself enough room on the paper. All right, good job. See you tomorrow.